Farmer Knievel is here in his van atop the building. Time to jump. Jump. Oh, no. Medical, medical, medical. Hello everybody, I'm Derek Chambers. This is your Farming Simulator 15 Mods, but I just want you all to know that that stupid truck jumping off the roof took me over an, oh, an hour to set up, and it still didn't work right. Oh man. Alright, let's get into our mods. We have, oh my goodness, um, <laughs> tractors. Alright, we have some Dutra. D4K stroke B 1000s. Um, we've got several of them. They're all 7,500. Um, they're all 100 horsepower. They're all 35 a day. So let's buy them. Boo, 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 boo. Okay, that's that one. They look like they're all the same, but I bet you they're not. Now, I wonder if it's just coloration. Because if it's just coloration, it's like, well, why didn't you use the game's in game color picker thingamajiggy? But we'll find out. There's that one. All right, so that should be all the Dutras. Yes. All right, so now we have to find, it's going to be at the very end, yeah, close to it, a uh, Vladimirik T25 Tur, 8,050 to buy it, 75 a day to own it. I don't know how much horsepower it's got. Let's buy it and see what happens. Who knows? Uh, we have in uh, sprayers. The Amazon UX 11,200 for 175,210. 325 a day, 200 horsepower or need. Uh, 11,200 liter capacity, 40 meter working width. That's pretty nice. It's a lot of working width. Let's buy it. Cool. And then I got to find where this other thing went to. Uh, ba -ba -ba -da -ba. Aha! A IFA W50L Abschlepper. 5400 to buy it, 26 a day to own it. Let's buy it. See what happens with it. Is that everything? Yeah, that's everything. Let's see what happens. Woo, there's all the things. All right, the tractors are jumping. Boom, chicka, boom, chicka, boom, boom, chicka, boom, chicka, boom, chicka, boom, boom, boom. Look at them go. Yeah, look at those tractors. Woo, yeah. Boom, yeah. You got some cool bass tunes going. Okay, whatever. Uh, let's go to these one. This one first. All right. This is our our T. What is this thing? T twenty five. Okay. Let's see if we're invisible. <gasps> we're not invisible. Yay! We're not invisibles. That's actually pretty good. I like that. There's no there's no extras. It does have the the front loader kit. But let's start it up. I like that. There was that click of turning the ignition. That looks awesome. Does not have all-wheel drive, as you would expect. I mean, it's a two-wheel drive tractor. It's obvious. Look at that thing. Look at that thing. That actually is pretty cool. Right, let's try to pick this up. <laughs> the whole tractor tips over backwards. Now, uh, let's find out. What? Attach. There. Oh, I apparently held down that button, didn't even realize it. All right, so that actually connects. There's no PTO shaft, but there is a PTO on this thing. Yes, there is. I mean, it looks pretty cool. He's not actually holding onto the steering wheel, mind you, but it's not a bad little old school tractor. Gauges work? No. Not bad. I, I mean, it's a heck of a lot better than that Ursa Suite thingamajiggy that we did. So that's good. Ooh, let's grab the Amazon. Ooh, that's probably not gonna end well. Wow, it's got a turning thing. Okay. Let's check the Amazon out. Clink. <laughs> It'll do it! <laughs> that's the strangest looking thing that you will see. No, it's probably not, but there you go. <laughs> it actually connects. Alright. Well, that's cool. That's a cool little old tractor. Oh my goodness, these guys are doing the conga line. And it stops like an old tractor. Wow. Just wow. Okay, let's um let's just get into this one here. He seems to at least 
Oh, good grief. Okay, so we're missing a balajdo, a jabalajdo, a balabla. Sorry, I don't speak whatever language that is. Start it up. All right. Let's find out what those things are. Keep at four. Ah, the door. Five, the door. Seven, the window. Eight, the window. Nine, the window. Oh, is the roof. Very nice. But when you're parked, we got the jams going down. Bounce, 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 bounce. Yeah. Uh, right. Don't even know what to think about that. It's, it's gone on walkabout. We'll just let it be. I, <laughs> now it's truly a conga line, everybody. We truly have a conga line. That's awesome. Hush. Okay. So while those guys conga, we'll get to that guy in a moment. Here is our IFA. You can't clip into it. That's good. Looks better than its picture. That's, that's a plus. It's got a little hitch back there. That's good. Things are looking good. Let's get in. Ooh, look, keypad nine. <gasps> we can open the door. Now we're inside. We got on the opposite side, but okay. Um, can I do? There we go. Uh, I closed a flap. What flap did I just close? Oh, good grief. What flap did I close? Open the flap again. Okay, that that's the flap. Cool. Uh, there. Okay, B. Test B. Laden Sheeran. Ah, okay. A little thing on the back. Okay. Let's start it up. All right. It's got all-wheel drive and diff. Oh, the, the, the dials work. Okay, what else do we have in the IC world here? Ah, we can roll down our window. That's good. We can open it. Yeah. Um, ah, what's this? We can open that. Ah, we can open. Ooh, look at that. We can have a nice roof vent. All right, so that's opening that. Okay, yeah, we got a little cab of, of cool. We can turn on our beacons. Look at all those beacons going on. Freaking conga line behind us. All right, I had X to drop the ramps. Okay, so the ramps aren't all the way to the ground, but they're close. Let's go over here. And I was going to try one of those guys, but they're just going to conga their way off the truck. So let's go over here and get something that behaves itself. Okay, start you up. Stop what you're doing, whatever that was, and get on this truck. Oop, oop. Oop. <laughs> We've fallen in a hole. Oop, nope, oh, we're out of the hole. We've destroyed the roof. Here we go. All right, so we're on the truck. Okay. Whoa. All right, so then I guess we hit B and then turn that up. And there we go. Oh, look, the drive shaft whirring away down there. Very nice. Turn on our blinkers. Ah, we definitely have to drive in cab when you do that because of the ooh, blinker going in cab. Whoa. Now, I think, strangely, I can actually hook up to the Amazon with this thing. Maybe. Maybe not. Ah, I thought maybe I could. Not quite the right hitch for that, I guess. No, definitely not. Derp. All right. So, I mean, that's that's actually pretty good. I mean, that, that there's that flickering thing going on on the front there, but that's a... That's a pretty useful li little thing. I mean, there's little, like, aesthetic things. Like, I'd say that that needs some cleaning. There needs to be some cleaning around here. Just little things. But overall, it's a decent little transporter for not a lot of money. All right. Let's get this guy off of here. Yeah, start. There you go. All right. Get off. There we are. There. Very nice. And it'd be a good transporter also if you had, you know, uh, maybe not this fork, like Kirovitz fork, and you could forklift on here something that you, you need to transport. So it's great for that. 
I'm just going to ignore the conga tractors because they're annoying me even more every time I look at them. <laughs> okay. All right, let's get a... I keep losing tractors, so I just buy more. It's just the way it goes around here. All right, let's get the... Uh... Hey, look, you're not in a conga line. How about them apples? I'm not even going to... Yeah, I'm not even going to put these stupid conga tractors on the screenshot for this episode. They're terrible. I hate them. All right. We made 18,000. I don't know how we made 18,000. Oh, never mind. I know why. The windmills. Okay, so we need to fill our sprayer. It's a good looking sprayer here. We're looking at 40 meters, so that's pretty nice. Let us uh, let me run up fill the sprayer. It's not going to be like as neat as that. It's still, I mean, 40 meters. That's pretty good. Let's go fill it up. Then we'll make use of it and see what it looks like. All right. I got this thing filled. Let's unfold it. Dun, dun, dun. Wow, that was slower than I thought. Dun, 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 dun. Woo, hello. You drive like a gibbon. Expect the thing to act silly. Dun, 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 dun. That is getting bigger. That is. Wow. Are you done? Is that 40 meters? I hope it's 40 meters. It is indeed. Okay, and we can lower it down so we can lower that center of gravity as low as we need to so we can spray right on the ground and turn it on. It sprays a little bit in front of it, but that's all right. That's, that's nice. I mean, that's 40 meters right there sprayed all at once. Definitely good if you have like a soil mod and I don't know, the Volga map. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to be on my Let's Play. I'll promise you that. Uh, but, I mean, that's that's a good size spray right there. I mean, you look at what they gave us in-game versus Farm Sim 2013, where they didn't... You know, 2013, they gave us the smaller Amazon tow behind, but they didn't give us one in 15. They gave us just the... Um, I call it the backpack, basically. It's a tractor backpack. Uh, that's what they gave us. So, this is a good addition, I think. Good addition. Did they give us the? Am I am I talking out my my brain? Nope. They didn't give us either the Pantone or that. Yep. So this is a good addition. I mean, the sprinklers are great. This is great for the mobile ability. So something to look at. I don't see anything wrong with it. I mean, it seems to work just fine. Um, those idiot tractors are doing idiot things. So we're just going to ignore them. Uh, that the IFA Abschlepper. I like it. It's is it the perfect vehicle? No, of course it's not perfect, but it's it's nice. It's going to transport your goods, and it's got some nice features, like the fact you can walk up and say, oh, I want to open my door, except for I apparently walked away before I could open the, the door, door, open, open door, open door. I've broken it. That's... Really no shock there. Uh, so there's that. And then the little um, Vladimir Tech T25. It's a good little, I mean, it's a nice itty bitty tractor. It'd be great for that small farm. You could probably, it would look really good paired with the class console that we did a few episodes ago. And then the small baler. So, and the um, the Agramet Z2, Z211. Those would be a good little small farm pack, I think. You could probably even get that the um, the IFA W50 in there as well. Kind of a small farm, old farm kind of thing going on. And they've done, again, high attention to detail. Um, it's better than the Ursus because the Ursus has the Invisible Farmer. This doesn't. If you don't mind the Invisible Farmer, I'd say they probably are equal in many respects. All right. Until ugh, until next time, I've been Derek Tevers. This has been your Farming Simulator 15 Mod Spotlight. Links are all in the description, as always, including to those bouncy tractors. Game on and be awesome, everybody.